Okay, so another vector space example. So here we want to determine if the set of all vectors uh, with components x, y, and r2 such that x times y is greater than or equal to 0. Uh, with the usual vector addition and multiplication, is that a vector space or not? And the answer, short answer for this one is going to be no. Um, they will not be, this will not form a vector space. So if you think about an R2, first off, the type of vectors that we're using, and I'm just going to make a counterexample. You could prove it a little more generically, but if x times y is greater than or equal to 0, notice that your vectors are going to be relegated to be either in the first quadrant, right, because there both the, the components will be positive so that when we multiply them we get something greater than or equal to 0, or they've got to be in the third quadrant. Because, you know, down here both co the components will be negative, and if you multiply x times y again you'll get something greater than or equal to 0. So just a little counterexample. So let's consider the vector. Let's consider the vector with components five and zero. So uh, that would be the vector where you just go along the x-axis. And let's also consider the vector, say, with components zero and negative two. That's just going to be um, a vector along the uh, negative y-axis. So both of those certainly fulfill the requirement, right? If I take the components and multiply them, I get something greater than or equal to zero. But when I do um, when I do my vector addition, when my when I do my vector addition, again we just add these a component at a time. I would get the vector five plus zero, which would be five. 0 plus negative 2, which would be negative 2. I'm actually right getting a vector um, that's now, it's no longer living in the first quadrant or the third quadrant. I've made it now appear in the fourth quadrant. And notice when I add those together, this no longer fulfills that requirement that x multiplied by y um, is greater than or equal to 0, because if we multiply them now, it's going to be less than 0. So no, it's not closed under addition. Not closed under addition. I didn't even really check the other requirements. Um, I think a lot of the other ones should hold. But um, it's definitely not closed under addition because, again, it's, it, it's possible to take vectors from either quadrant 1 or quadrant 3, add them together, and get vectors that are no longer in quadrant 1 or quad, quadrant 3. So, no, that's just a, a quick little counterexample that shows this is not closed under addition and, therefore, is not a vector space.